Our spotlight story tonight is about the large group of people walking and enjoying each other's company in Moses Lake's Macosh Park on Saturday. Reporter Cameron Probert fills us in. Hundreds of people gathered in Macosh Park Saturday afternoon to raise awareness of Down syndrome. More than 20 teams participated in the second Columbia Basin Buddy Walk. The event acted as a fundraiser and a way to celebrate the people succeeding with the condition. The event was started by Carrie Aronson's daughter last year. After participating in buddy walks in the Tri-Cities in Wenatchee, she wanted to bring the event to Moses Lake and decided to make it her senior project. And the Buddy Walk actually is a national program. There's a, over 250 walks all over the United States and even in the world. There's walks in Japan and Spain and all Bahamas. There's walks everywhere. And so there was a walk in Wenatchee and a walk in Tri-Cities, but not one here. So that's why we started it. Most of the people at the event know someone with the condition. The event drew family members from across the state to show their support. I have a son who's uh, five, year old, five years old now who has Down syndrome, and all the members of our board have family members who have Down syndrome, so we have a personal investment in that. And the Buddy Walk is to basically raise money so that we can have local programs and activities and services to, for integration and, and to help uh, the Down syndrome community in our area. Aronson said it's important to raise awareness about the condition since family members and friends are the advocates for the people living with Down syndrome. They can't go out and do it themselves. So we're their advocates. We're the ones that can help them get jobs, have education, um, integrate into the community. And they are gonna bless us as individuals because just being a mother of someone who has Down syndrome has blessed my life. They have so much to give to the community. It's, they're amazing. After introducing the teams, the participants took a mile walk through downtown Moses Lake. They were cheered on by high school cheerleaders, members of the Big Bend Community College softball team, and others. Along the path were placards listing the names of the people with Down syndromes who helped raise money for the event. Several times in the event, the organizers and participants called them their heroes. For Lisa Borman, her 16-year-old daughter gives her perspective on life. Borman has participated in buddy walks in Alaska and Idaho. And when one started in Moses Lake, she joined the committee. She thanked the community for its generosity, saying people have come to the committee with offers because they knew someone with Down syndrome. For i Fiber one News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. We'll be right back after this.